What's up YouTube and coin ringers? I got something pretty exciting here I want to show you today. I got a new tool in the mail from Jason's Works. It's something we've been waiting on for a long time, or at least I have. This here is the new auto centering coin punch. See the different punches? I'm actually missing the 3 8 size punch because uh, he accidentally sent me two of the 7 16 so I had to send one back and wait for the 3 8 to come in now. Here is the new punch style. See this dome right here when you put it down over top of the coin you set your coin like this. I'm going to show you this better here in a minute but this is just the, to get the gist of it. Put that in there, set your coin on top of that. Then you screw this down and what this does is that dome right there as you screw it down will make sure as you screw it down more and more it will get into the it will center the coin in there. He's also added some better threads, fatter double threads so it screws down easier I guess. That was one of my complaints about the this last the old die here, I mean the old punch, is that the threads are not so great. And not only that, but it doesn't seem like a lot of threads when you look at it, but for for one or two coins it's not bad but when you have a, a large order and you're punching you know a couple hundred coins within a week that's a whole lot of screwing and unscrewing up and down so on this one I, I kind of wanted less threads it does screw down easier and faster and the threads are better but still seems like the about the same amount of screwing up and down to me I wish there was half as many threads I don't know if that's possible with this design, but it would have been nice. But uh, anyway, here's the first look at it. And I'm going to take you over to the bench here in a second. And um, I'll show you how this baby works. I'll find some good coins to test out. I'm pretty sure Jason, he got his video up earlier today or last night. So some of you may have already seen this, but I'll try to do a few different coins for you. Now here is the absolute best part about this punch is with that new auto centering dome style there's no need for all of these anymore. See it used to be that there's just so many different uh, types of coins US and non-US that are all different sizes so anytime you want to do a different style of a coin say you want to do like a, a two francs or something well, you'd have to pay the 20 bucks to have you a new ring machine to keep it center in your punch. This new style punch, you can do any coin, no matter what size it is, from a dime all the way up to something you know, over the size of a silver eagle. And you don't have to have a special ring for it. So, let's see what we got to punch. Like walking liberties and all this stuff is common. Try to do something that's a little... Um, how about this? 50 shillings? I'm not sure where that's from, but we'll punch it. Columbia Half, Philippines. Here's a 2500 something Ceylons. It's one of those nice Ceylon coins with the animals around it. We'll, we'll go ahead and punch that too. Yeah, let me get this set up and uh, we'll punch these two and I'll show you how it works. Alright, so I'm thinking for this 50 shilling I'm probably going to use the half inch punch. This seems what is going to look the best. I just realized this coin has edge lettering too, it looks pretty nice. It's 50 shilling, I got this thing dirt cheap too I think. So first thing you want to do is you want to take your half inch spacer here, your receiver, set that down in the hole just like that, pops right in place, nice and snug. And you're going to take uh, your coin, Let's see we're going to do this. Now if you want to, 
instead of placing your coin right on top of that, you can take a piece of paper towel to protect your coin detail. Sit like that and then set your coin on top of it. See, it doesn't matter now where you set this coin on top of there because as soon as you start screwing this lid down, this dome right here is going to auto center that right to the middle, right to the center. So. Screw her down. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Nice and tight. Take your punch. Put it in there. Should be using the brass hammer, but I still haven't bought a new one yet since I broke mine. Give it a couple whacks. About to go through. Now you're going to take this out of here, flip it around like this, get your rubber mallet, hold on to the, the back of the punch like this. There you have it. Six millimeter. Ten point nine. Hmm, I don't know if that's perfect. Ten point nine. Ten point seven. Ten point six is very, very close. We'll go ahead and uh, fold that into a ring and see what happens. But let's go ahead and punch the other one first. Where's my other punch? This is the 5 8 punch. I'm going to use that on my Ceylon coin. Yeah, that's good. Give it a couple of good whacks. Just a punch. pretty good. Eleven point six nine, eleven point four, eleven point four six. 11.6 So 
It's not perfect, but it is very close. 11.6, 11.6, 11.6. Eleven point six. I think the tiny bit that is off is it might also be because of my coins might have a see right there. There's a, a dent in the side. I think that's throwing it off. Possibly, because that hole in the center looks pretty good. But there you have it. That's pretty awesome. I think that's gonna work out good. I'll fold these two in the coins and show you what they look like. All right, we're back, and this is the the finished product, the finished rings. They both came out really nice, super nice. If I can get this camera to focus. really like this one got the edge lettering on it very nice ring I think I might pick up some more of these coins as you can see it came out super nice didn't have no trouble with it being wobbly in the dies after I uh, punched it it is wonky free wonk free no wonk yeah just about perfect which means the new punch did its job pretty damn good i didn't get any video of me making these uh this is just a tool review if you want to see how i make the coin rings you can check out my other videos it came out really nice as well if the camera's not focused on these, I'll get some pictures up too. Alright, so... We're gonna get it. How much is it? Get it right here. JasonWorks.com Made in the USA. Auto Punch. How much is it? Well... That is one of the cons of this, is it's kind of expensive for the punch. And five uh, five punches, and the the punch itself is uh, three hundred ninety nine dollars for five punches. Now you can get this a little cheaper with the main the main punch, the receiver, and you can pick two, I believe, two punches to go with it, two sizes that you like, and I believe you can get it for about a hundred dollars cheaper, seventy five dollars cheaper than that. But it is pretty expensive so it might not be for everybody if you already have a cheaper way of the punching the the coins but for me it's worth it because I do a whole lot and uh, as you can see in this video I did a really good job of it these rings came out near perfect I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet I wasn't planning on punching holes in uh, some foreign coins today I just got that new tool in and wanted to play with it from it this one's almost just begging for some powder coat though. I think that would look really good. So I may powder coat that or leave them polished, I don't know. Um, pros, it works excellent. Um, again, no need for all of these anymore, which was a pain in the ass. So that's definitely a pro. Um, you can punch anything from a dime all the way up to I believe almost a two inch coin, which is Ridiculous, bigger than uh, American Eagle, Silver Eagle. Um, cons, there's not really many. I don't really like how many threads are still on this, but I mean, that's just nitpicking. Um, the price might be a con for some, I guess. To me, it's just an investment, it's worth it. Jason makes really nice tools. As you can see, I have a ton of them. Um, I really wish it would have came with its own tool holder for that price, really. To hold the, the punch and all the, the punches that go with it. These are, were bought separately a long time ago for other, for some of his other tools. This is a Swedish wrap set here. 
But yeah, that's about it. So like, share, comment, let me know what you think. Um, if you're wanting to see anything else. And uh, it gets a A plus thumbs up for me. For this review anyway. Did pretty dang good. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.